So we only have one recorded statement of Cormac McCarthy actually talking about the passenger, and it is allegorical. Obviously, in 2015, he gave a reading of parts of the passenger, but he didn't really talk about it. So we have one paragraph that talks about the writing of the passenger, and it is in Box 87, Folder 5 of the Cormac McCarthy uh, collection that scholars are poring over every single day still. So let's read the passage. McCarthy expresses a similar idea about creativity in notes grouped with his papers for the road. Despite their location in the archives, they seem unrelated to that novel. Their, pr their proximity to a paragraph labeled The Passenger suggests that it may be a part of McCarthy's notes for his unpublished novel. The quotation echoes Faulkner's suggestion that a high ambition will always be accompanied by some degree of fail failure. Making a poem is not like making a chair. Both require craftsmanship, but the chair to be perfect must be perfect, while the poem can never attain true excellence without incorporating some flaw. A flawless poem would be one that did not try hard enough. Compare this to Faulkner's claim that Wolf failed the best because he tried the hardest. And this quote means a lot to me because I actually very much enjoyed The Passenger. There are some other booktubers out there who, and obviously the New York Times and Goodreads and random people who are trashing, trashing it, but if you... The last 150 pages of that novel do read like poetry. They are beautiful. They are some of Cormac McCarthy's best writing. And Cormac, like all authors though, is trying to deal with this idea that a book cannot be flawless. And he, as I talked about in my other video that is right up here, that he has maybe been working on The Passenger from anywhere from 30 to 60 years. So Cormac's one statement about this book, is it a self-motivational too? What do you guys think? Is it him trying to say like, it's okay, man. Like maybe this novel isn't exactly complete, but you can still do this. You know, you don't need to be so self-critical because as someone who will sit with a novel for over a decade, you know that thing inside and out. He has stated that he works anywhere from three to six hours a day. So if you're sitting with a novel for three to six hours a, a day, you know, and, and sometimes writing other novels in there, for a decade or two, you are going to know all the problems with it. And if you are as smart and as well, well-read as McCarthy is, then you know where the flaws are and maybe what's not as good. But, you know, as he's approaching older age, he probably was saying like, hey, you know, back in 2006, 2005, probably when he wrote that, he was in his mid 70s. And that's already kind of getting a little bit older for a novelist. And he was probably, you know, maybe, you know, this is all just speculation, you know, thinking a lot of the things that we do, time is running out, you know, I think about that all the time. I'm in my 20s, but like, you know, I all my best years are behind me. I've wasted so much time. But Cormac didn't release his first book until his 30s. And a lot of my favorite authors didn't either. Haruki Murakami. I think Toni Morrison was into was waited till her 40s. So this is all we have from Cormac on The Passenger. I wish I could give you guys more, but that's all we got. And if you guys want to see more Cormac McCarthy videos, go check out this playlist over here. Peace.